Welcome back everybody. So today we'll be continuing laser and today we'll be studying about optical resonator. So basically we have studied in lasing action we need a highly intense coherent parallel and concentrate laser. So for all of this we need a state or situation where the number of atoms in the higher energy level must be greater than the lower energy level. So we know that it is known as population inversion. Okay, so that was the first part. So now the population inversion is not only the only criteria for lasing action. A large number of excited atoms emit photons in various directions. So randomly they are photons are emitted in a random direction. So when of these when these spontaneous photo, photons trigger, many stimulated emissions take place in the direction of the emitted photon. So that is okay. So then these photons cannot give coherent amplification because the direction is like spread out or like random. So but for coherent we need to be in the same direction or like in a fixed direction. So this the optical resonator is used for like uh, what to say like restricting the photons in a particular direction or a to get a coherent laser radiation so this is the like device of optical resonator so optical resonator so i'll explain you how it works so basically like we don't want to lose the like laser's intensity so we use optical resonator this is one of the point also there is a system like the way it works is like there is a system consisting of two mirrors one is a 100% plane reflecting and other is the semi transparent plane mirror that acts as a like resonant cavity okay in the resonant this cavity one mirror may be like partially reflecting for 90% of the incident light is reflected and transmitted so the final thing is transmitted okay as as this is the final product so here laser comes out okay and inside this inside this like this space we need if enough in population inversion occurs and substantial light amplification takes place because the concept is that like photons are like hitting always in the reflection plate and on continuous hitting finally they will achieve a coherent sort of direction so and the strength is also like concentrated because we are now getting coherent so a steady intense laser beam is generated and finally after it is like transmitted to the semi transparent plane mirror so finally an optical resonator is a device that directs the photon back and forth through the laser medium and the number of photons get multiplied by stimulated emission to achieve a coherent laser radiation so and if optical resonator is not present then no laser light generation is possible so i have also written the definitions for it or what is it so an optical resonator is a system or a setup which is used to obtain amplification of stimulated photons by oscillating them back and forth between system of two mirrors thus it consists of two planes so one mirror is partially reflecting and another is totally reflecting laser is output is received from the reflect partially reflecting plate mirror so and the space between the two mirrors is called cavity so this was all about optical resonator so if you had any problem just comment below and if you did like the video hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel for more videos thank you